Want to know how you can find the best home in Roanoke? Stay tuned to find out. Hey everybody, I'm Hal Cohn. And I'm Chris Cohn, we're with Cohn Realty Group. If this is your first time to our channel, please make sure you click that subscribe button and also that little bell icon so you're gonna be notified each and every time we release a new video about living, working, and playing in the amazing Roanoke Valley. That's right, it is so incredible. We get folks calling us constantly wanting to move to or within Roanoke, Salem, Botetourt, and surrounding areas. So if that's you or your friends and family, please give us a call. We'd love to chat with you. You can get in touch with us by phone, email, or text. Yep, make sure you do it soon. All right, so you've decided that you want to find the best home for you in the Roanoke Valley. Well, you've come to the right spot because we're going to tell you every step that you're going to need to know to find that best home for you. That's right. We've got a process in place and it's going to make it as smooth and stress-free as possible. Now, there will be turbulence. There will be bumps in the road, but we can guide you through those too. Yeah. The very first step is going to be meet with us. We would love to chat with you. We've got to find out what your goals are, what your timeline is, all kinds of questions. We want to know more about you in order to help you in the best way possible. That's right. And part of that initial conversation we're going to have, it can be virtually, it can be in person, and we will be safe about it, but we want to have a face-to-face -face interaction with you to start the process. And then during that conversation, we're going to talk to you about financing because you may have a lot of cash on hand and you're like hey i'm just gonna pay cash for this house well done way Great. to save that's right if not there are financing options available so we've got a multitude of lenders we can introduce you to and then from there you've got some questions you probably want to ask them so while you're talking to the lender the main reason you're doing that you're going to get your questions answered so you're comfortable with the lender that you choose and then ultimately they're going to give you a pre-approval letter which says hey I can afford this property that I'm looking at. So you know how much you can afford. And then the seller, when you submit your offer, they're gonna have that letter as well. So they know and they're confident and comfortable that you're able to proceed and actually close on the property. Because there's nothing worse than not being able to afford a property and not being able to close. It makes nobody happy. So we want you to be happy and the seller to be happy. Yeah, there's quite a few questions we can guide you on so you can get all the information you need to make sure your home buying process is a success. So one thing you'd want to ask are things like, um, which loan type is right for me? How much would I need to put down? There's also, what's your interest rate? Mm -hmm. So there's a whole host of questions. We'll be able to guide you through that. But again, it all starts with an initial conversation. We can't wait to meet you and build that relationship that's going to be very long lasting. pre-approved and now let the fun begin <laughs> start your search <laughs> that's right it is so fun to look at houses but it can be overwhelming too after you look at so many at a time we've heard a lot of people that say they just get exhausted and all the properties run together so our goal is not to do that but be very efficient and smart about looking at properties. So one way to do that is that we use what's called a process of elimination mm -hmm. instead of a process of selection. That's right. Yeah, so a process of selection can send you all over the map, but we wanna really eliminate what you don't want and hone in on those areas that are meaningful and special to you and you really like, and we'll really dig into those areas and find the perfect house for you. Yeah, so we start having conversations with you as far as like what location is important to you what is your lifestyle like? Right. What amenities do you need in a house or what features are you looking for? Yes. And so we will help you dial in and then we'll come up with a spreadsheet or a little piece of paper. Got these things up so you can take notes along the way so you don't get overwhelmed. And what are some of the special features people are looking for? You know, 
it really depends on people's lifestyles. We've heard a lot of really interesting needs and wants that people have. Things like, I want enough room to have farm animals. Sure, we can find that for you. Or man caves. Those mm -hmm. are huge. Mm -hmm. yeah. And did you know here in the Roanoke Valley, we have a lot of basements, finished and unfinished. So that's a big turn on for a lot of people mm -hmm. and the advantage that they may not Absolutely. have in their state. I need an artist studio. That was one of our clients. We were able to find that a nice bright airy spot. Yeah, or a workshop. Like I need an external workshop. Okay. We like to do woodworking or I build things for a profession. Mm -hmm. So we've also you got the traditional like, hey, I gotta have luxury uh, countertops in my kitchen. I gotta have an open kitchen, open concept home. Yes. You know Everybody want, and I need neutral colors or move-in ready, right? Move-in ready is huge. And let's not forget about neighborhoods. We want to find out about your lifestyle, like you had said. Do you want a really active community or kind of a sleepy town feel? That's right. <laughs> and, and, and do you want something that's walkable? So do you want mm -hmm. sidewalks? Do you want wide roads so that you can actually walk to places like walk to downtown or walk to amenities, walk to parks? Uh, you know, walk to the Appalachian Trail or hiking or biking and those types of things. So we are going to listen to you. We're going to help dial in that search and help you find the best home for you based on the specifics that you give us. That's right. And after hearing everything, what we'll do is come up with a very personalized subscription just for you. Mm -hmm. And you'll get notified immediately as soon as a property hits the market that meets your parameters. So it's an easy way just to search online from the comfort of your desk, your couch, or even in the car. That's right. When you're not driving. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> and when you find one you want to see, even if you're not here, guess what? We and our team are video experts. We will go into houses with our phones that have great resolution, do a video tour or live with you, or even mm -hmm. upload those to Dropbox somewhere. So we can do it virtually or in person. So don't let the fact that you're far away scare you off by any means. Absolutely. We try to make it as easy and simple for you as possible. And again, it's just fun to look at houses. We've got a great checklist for you to carry around so you don't confuse the different properties. And even if you're searching with kids, we have a great worksheet for them too. searching for new homes and it could have been the first home that you actually saw or it could have been the tent that our team showed you that you have found to be your new best home and guess what surprise alert it may not have been exactly what you thought you were looking for right <laughs> oh that's so true <laughs> With our own home, we were after, or I should say I was after, you were very flexible. You didn't really care. Yeah. I wanted her to be happy, you know, mama <laughs> happy, everybody happy. That's right. <laughs> we were on the search for a mid-century modern home in one particular area of town. And we went and looked for that over and over and we kept, and then we broadened our horizons. Y'all, we ended up in a Victorian 1900 house in a completely different part of town, but we love it. Don't we do love it. <laughs> so after you find that home that you love, then we've got to pull together the offer. Mm -hmm. And so there's going to be multiple parts to that. We're going to make sure your pre-qualification letter's in there. We're going to do some analysis and we're going to let you know what that home should sell for so that you can make a strong offer and an educated offer on the purchase price of that property. And then along with that, inside of the offer, we're going to have like, how many days are we going to set to close? It's usually 30 to 45 days that your lender is going to take to close the property. We're going to have an inspection period, which is normally about 15 days. So there's going to be types of things that we're going to put in there. It's going to be in the complete offer. And once you get it completely written up, guess what we're going to do? We're going to have a call, probably a Zoom call, and we're going to go through it so you can share our screen and see the line by line exactly what you're signing. So you're comfortable in knowing exactly what you signed and exactly what you're submitting. And ask us any questions you want because we have the experience to help you feel confident in the process. Absolutely. Our goal is really to guide you through the whole process. You don't do that every day. Mm -hmm. You do not work with contracts, negotiations, buying one of the largest investments of your life. We do. We don't take that matter lightly. There are 
are some costs associated with buying a house and we'll walk you through all those, but things like an earnest money deposit, which is kind of like a good faith deposit, letting the seller know that you're, you're serious about Very it. Very serious, that's usually one to 2% of purchase price. Mm -hmm. And then there's some costs for inspections and down payment and closing costs. We'll walk you through all that too, really comfortable before you submit anything. Yeah, and once it's all submitted, the seller's got it, the listing agent has it, then negotiations get started and go into overdrive, <laughs> probably. But with that, we have been down the road many times, like we said. So our team, we are great negotiators and we're gonna help you make sure that you're confident and happy with the price and the terms that you got. So terms might be negotiated might be, hey, I need a 60 day close instead of a 30 day close. Um, it could be purchase price could be different. It could be lower, higher, somewhere in between. Uh, let's see, we could also like, oh, you can do this inspection or I want you to do this inspection. But we have a conversation with you when we get that information back and we decide, is this right for you based on the information that we've got about the property and how you feel about the property. So it's all about making sure we protect you and we give you all the information you need to negotiate to the best terms that are acceptable to you, the buyer. on your new home. So the next phase or stage you're gonna be in is gonna be the inspection and financing period. And that's gonna take place from the time you go under contract until you actually close on your home. And what's the inspection period? Well, that's a time for you to do your due diligence as far as like inspecting the home, that it's gonna meet your standards and your specifications. So one of the inspections that you're gonna have done is gonna be the home inspection, right? Yeah, the home inspection is a great opportunity for you to learn more about your house from top to bottom. The home inspector is gonna take hours looking through every single aspect of your home and they'll be able to come up with things that absolutely need to be replaced and repaired. That are defects. Defects, yeah. And then also things that are suggested and some things you'd want to keep in mind. They sometimes even give you maintenance options, some things mm -hmm. that you'd want to be aware of. So it's a great opportunity just to shadow that home inspector, learn more about your home, and prepare a plan. Yeah, any of those defects that we find and you negotiate with the seller to have those repaired before you actually close on the property. Yeah. So transitioning from inspection period, we go to financing period. Well, if I can interrupt. Oh, sure thing. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, we will be walking through all the inspections with you and let you know because there's quite a few inspections you can have done depending on the type of home. Like if it's on a septic system or if you want to get wood destroying insects, there's a whole gamut of inspections you can have done and we'll make sure that you are comfortable with the home that you're buying. Absolutely. But let me transition back to financing. Yes. So <laughs> within five days normally of the fact of your home going under contract, you're going to make sure you make a loan application. And then from there, the lender's going to do their thing. They're going to ask you for some more documentation and things like that. And it's all part of the process to get you to closing. And then there's going to be an appraisal that comes with that. So you know, we always write in our contracts that it needs to appraise at or above purchase price so that you are protected and the lender's protected as far as what it appraises for. So that's the last piece of negotiation normally, right before closing, if it happens that we have to negotiate appraisal, that's the last hurdle we get to on the lender side before closing. Yeah, and make sure during this process that you don't make any large purchases, mm -hmm. take out any lines of credit, and you're just very smart about your financing. Your lender will walk you through some of those things that you want to make sure you avoid to keep your credit and your financing on track. <laughs> period. We are at the tail end of the financing period, which means you are preparing to close. And guess what words you've heard that you want to hear so badly? They are clear to close. Oh. Clear to close. Clear, clear to, to close. close. Clear so close. when you get clear to close, you are in a good position because guess what? The underwriter said, hey, you've got all the documentation that I need. We're going to fund your loan so you can buy this amazing house. And what that brings you to is closing date. So that means you sit around the table at the settlement and title company and you sign all your documentation to make it official. The seller is going to be doing that on their side too, signing all the documentation, then it will be official. 
Once it records at the courthouse, you'll get your keys and you can move on in. Well, that's a wrap. We hope you've enjoyed learning about the process to find your very own home sweet home. And before you know it, you'll be enjoying on your back porch a drink to say congratulations. That's right. And if you're looking to move to Roanoke, you want to know more about it, and just get a smidge of information twice a month, please sign up for our newsletter. The information to do that is in the comment section below. And we'll look forward to seeing you whenever you visit or you're ready to move within the Roanoke Valley. That's right. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs>